Medak district in the South Indian state of Andhra Pradesh, where the DDS works, has thousands of amazing women farmers who have kept alive a vibrant diversity on their farms and fields. Women like Sushila Ma of Rayapalli grow up to 23 crops on just one acre of land. Anjamma from Gangwar village regularly replenishes her bank of land races, which consist of over 70 seed varieties, which are regularly renewed by her on her farm. It is women like them, marginalized and working on marginalized lands, that have courageously preserved and conserved agrobiodiversity in the Deccan. The diversity followed by these women is an unbroken tradition that has lived with them for centuries. This is the tradition that inspired the biodiversity festivals of the DDS. The Pathapantala Panduga became mobile from the year 2000 and moved on wheels year after year from village to village. This mobility ensured unprecedented participation from people. In five years between 2000 and 2004, the festival dialogued with over 150,000 farmers. <laughs> Zonal wet koale, samal wet koale, pesal wet koale, minimal wet koale. If it is any problem, na di. If kar meer dechina, vitna ala juice, samal ante itun ta yani magu. An kuthna mante gani, mem pantal matram jude mu. Amola pajanal. Aay pajanal. If we ama yera pajanal. Yera pajanal. Korna pantal mante. Such an overwhelming response was not visible in the beginning. When the carts rattled along the village streets in the first year, very few people attended the festival. The interest was thin. The processions looked bare. As years rolled on, the slenderness disappeared and the festival started filling up. Singers and dancers joined the carts to add a distinct cultural flavor to the caravan.
taking part in the processions and discussions started swelling. The participation grew from tens to hundreds to thousands. Such increasing involvement of the farmers attracted the village council chiefs and other local body officials to the festivals. <laughs> The modest village level meetings morphed into large symposia at the level of mandals, the administrative units covering 40 to 50 villages. Members of the local parliament started attending the festival. Inspired by the atmosphere, they assured their support to the issues raised in the festivals. <laughs> biodiversity, Top agricultural scientists, bureaucrats and politicians came to the festivals, learnt new perspectives on biodiversity from the people and gratefully honoured them. The festival gradually grew in stature and attracted international campaigners, civil society activists, academics and environmentalists. Makar Sakranti ke din hoti gaon mein itti sari mahilaye aur itne sare purus apne bhavishya ko acha banane ki chinta mein और अपने भविष्य में आने वाले खतरों को बाजारों खेती से बचाने के लिए संकल्पबद्ध होते हुए देखकर मुझे अपने देश के भविष्य की आशा और उसकी सुरक्षा सुनिश्चित होती हुई दिखती है और मैं इस पूरे उत्सव को और आपके इस पूरे अभिक्रम को एक एक जय विविधता के चलते फिरते विश्वविद्यालय के रूप में देखता हूँ मैं इसको एक बीज विश्वविद्यालय के रूप में देखता हूँ। It's a school without walls. It's a place where people learn about their knowledge, rediscover their knowledge. We, the Canadians, are honored to be here among you celebrating biodiversity. Farmers must never be denied the right to save and exchange seeds. The display of seeds I just witnessed in the building over there conveys just how sacred they are. It is a great honor to the whole world. The little things that you have done by saving such a large amount of seed, which I don't think many people have in the world. So this great treasure is a really a wonderful treasure for Asia because we have most of our foods here and they can really make ourselves food secure for the future.
Biodiversity Festival. It's practical, it's informative, it's joyful, it's a true celebration of the true value of seed. Biodiversity and all that sort of crops you have here in tradition, that it is really a thing to celebrate. It is really a gift of God and we have, we have really to celebrate this. As the years passed by, the Biodiversity Festivals etched for themselves a permanent place on the cultural calendar of the community and earned an enduring spot on their cultural consciousness. This manifested itself in the various actions of the community. People washed entire streets, plastered them with cow dung, and drew ritual motifs as they would do for their major festivals. When the bullocks walked these streets, people washed their feet, put holy marks on their forehead, and worshipped them as gods. The caravan stopped in front of every shrine, mosque and church of the village and offered prayers. The Biodiversity Festival had thus transcended religions as people from all faiths had embraced the festival. People in their own fashion added a number of cultural and religious subtexts. <laughs> Diverse religious and celebratory streams started joining the festival year after year.